afternoon, guys. I've been working this morning and stuff at, at the vitamin shop a few weeks ago and kind of forgot I had it, but I love this. Uh, this flavor is so good. It's the Power Pack um, pomegranate blueberry flavor. Um, I'm gonna see if the, uh, if Vitacost has these or iHerb added it to my lime water here. So it's really good. And I ordered some more, uh, mason jar. I ordered some more mason jars, uh, because I feel like I, I only have two. Do you guys ever use these as water bottles? Like, is there some sort of topper thing that I could be using? I've been using them to put the almond milk and cashew milk yogurts in that I've been making. Since I've been cutting down on my paper towel, usage I picked up these um, Lux Living Town and Country Ooh, look at me um, kitchen towels and I got ten of them so I'm gonna go ahead and put those in my but I I like keeping everything in my kitchen uh, red because it's pan seasonal and um, it's easy to find stuff in red this is like fake enamelware it was like really cheap I think they sell it at, at Wal I think they sell it at Walmart but I I think I got it on Amazon actually, but I've really been happy with this Paula Deen um, red, red uh, tea kettle. All lined up here. Is anybody else compulsive like me and that you like even numbers of things? This little odd guy out kind of bothers me, but I just feel like it's not fair. <laughs> I'm so weird. Oh, but I just went to the, so I just went to the mailbox too this morning and I got this uh, little flyer in the mail from this company, UV Skins. Um, I guess they're sort of like a coolie bar uh, competitor. The same uh, principle, UPF 50, uh, UPF 50 protective clothing, which I really advocate for honestly, because I mean, Reapplying sunscreen and stuff when you're outdoors is like so difficult, honestly. Um, I'm gonna try this out, guys. My mom clued me into this a while back. It's called the Bona Hardwood Floor Cleaner. I just had my floors obviously vacuumed yesterday when the cleaning people came and I've been wanting to try this. Um, apparently, if you do it consistently, it just kind of keeps the floors like, I don't know, shiny or whatever. So I'm gonna give it a whirl with my Swiffer. And, but it, you guys who are into the essential oils, um, you've commented that you checked out lemon myrtle. Let me just say, I like now want to hover over my garbage disposal because it smells so good um, coming out of there, which whoever says that about their garbage disposal, just like a few drops in there. I mean, I swear it's just completely, and it's another gorgeous day out today. But anyways, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a try here before i mean it's not like my floors are dirty or anything but you can see there's like scuff marks and stuff i don't know that you'll see a big difference well i think it comes out pretty shiny another real downside though of renting is um there's like a bubble there and the laminate flooring or whatever this stuff is they put on. I mean, it's not like actual wood. I imagine whoever synthesizes your, your flooring has like a little, very little concern for, for uh, craftsmanship and they just kind of slap it down because the thought process I imagine is A, cost effectiveness and B, uh, turnover. That they'll probably pull it all out at one point in the near future. So they just kind of, I don't know, tack it down with like Elmer's glue or something. So there's a little bubble over there that kind of makes it hard to, to evenly sweep or swipe over there. But I think I like it. I'm going to try and do it a little more consistently. But um, I'd love to do it with some of the lemon myrtle oil in there and see how that turns out. So comment below on if you use a, a floor cleaner. I'd like to know your tips. But anyways, I'm going to get back to work now. Um, I just got a package in the mail and I'm really excited about it um, because it's like my Christmas present. Um, so, and I thought it'd be fun to unbox it with you guys. My mom got me for Christmas this year a subscription to the Adidas Avenue A. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I, I actually found that I detest most subscription boxes because 90% of what comes in them is stuff that I don't need or use or want. And I, I just end up like holding on to it forever thinking like, oh, I'm going to use this at some point. And then it just clutters my life. But this, I was actually excited about because uh, I've heard the value of, of what you get is quite good and, and, and it's athletic and, and it's athletic wear, which I, I always need and use because I exercise every day. This is the February box, I guess. Ooh, exciting. So this is how the box comes. You can see there's two compartments. Oh my gosh! 
shoes. I've actually been wanting these. Q and Allie was talking about some sort of Adidas sneakers, but look how cool these are, guys. I don't know if these were the ones she was talking about. They've got a little space here. Oh my gosh, I, this alone I'm excited about. I, the rest of the box could suck. She got a little um, sports bra here. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, I got some leggings. Awesome. Look how cool these leggings are, guys. They've got like, like this thing here. I'm totally wearing this this weekend. Check it out. Move over, Cooley Bar. We've got a hood cover up. This is awesome. This is gonna be so great for like, kind of travel and what have you. And then this is so awesome, guys. It's a gym bag. It's Stella McCartney. Oh, wow. Okay, this is like not just a gym bag, in my opinion. This is like so convenient because I have a trip coming up. Oh, can you put the shoes in the bottom? Here's the inside of the bag. Can you guys see it? This, I'm really happy with. This is my size. Oh, how awesome. I'm gonna feel so cool wearing these. <laughs> Okay, so a quick rundown on the Avenue A subscription box. If you guys aren't familiar with it, I just like had to read about it. I knew I wanted it, but I didn't know why. It is, um, it comes four times a year, so seasonally. It's $150 per box. But I read, I went on the website and I, I calculated the cost of the contents. Okay, the Pure Boost shoes are $130. The Ultimate Long Tights retail for $90. The bag, $130, the bra, $30, and the cover-up top, $70. So the value of the box is $450, and you get all you get $450 worth of stuff that I actually wanted um, cure, um, for $150. And the cool thing is that each season is curated by a different fitness guru kind of person. And this month it was this Hannah Bronfman gal, I hope I'm saying her name right, who um, who I guess does boxing or something. I wish they said a little bit more about her on the, uh, on the thing. Um, but uh, yeah, this is really cool, guys. Check it out if you're... I'm um, kind of on the fence about like I like I said I detest subscription boxes because it's like like I don't want a full size bottle of like pastel fuchsia like eyeshadow that I'm never gonna wear. I mean hello. So thanks mom. But <laughs> today really is like Christmas. This I heard a knock on my door and Santa Claus delivered a little something per you guys's you guys' encouragement. This was like way better than dealing with those girls. Okay, so FYI, if you missed the vlog, I went into Kendra Scott and the salespeople in there were totally ignoring me and I wanted to buy something, but didn't want to give them the commission. And I ended up getting a better deal on the set online that I wanted. Uh, I basically got 15% off and free shipping, so it was actually cheaper to not give them the commission. See, I almost feel like I should reach out to Kendra Scott and let her know like how, I swear I did not order gift wrapping on this. It just came this way. It comes with a card. Oh, this is the receipt. Mm. And then it totally comes in a gift box. Like, I don't know, I've never, has anyone ever purchased anything from the actual store? Um, do you get all this uh, swagger? Comes in a nice box. I will start wearing this in the vlogs for sure. Thanks guys for encouraging me to buy that for myself. I don't usually buy things for myself, but I really liked those. I enjoy jewelry, it's kind of my little, my little pet. But anyways, I'm gonna head over to the gym um, and I'll check in with you guys later. Hey guys, I just finished in the shower and I'm coming in, of course, with my CeraVe healing ointment on my lips. You guys mentioned that you picked this up and have started using it and really enjoy it, so that's fantastic. Two of them and you asked about the greasing the orifices and what that means. And I, the reason I, I do that for, for the retinoid is uh, to prevent it from uh, trickling into the corners of the eyes or around the mouth or around the nose because uh, it, it can be irritating in those areas because they're right close, they're right like skin to, to mucosa, you know, so I don't want things going in there as I drool in my sleep. Um, but the other reason that I do this is I have eczema. It's pretty much burned out at this point, but it does flare. And one of the ways that 
uh, it can continue to plague adults is uh, kind of a, a lip dermatitis. Um, chapped lips and a, and a tendency towards chapped lips. The other thing though that, that's more problematic and probably playing a larger role in, in my issue with, with lips in the past and dry lips is the fact that I chew so much darn gum. The saliva, which gets on the, on the lips, is actually an irritant and actually it further dries out the skin when it's just on there because it evaporates and, and pulls more water out. And, and it's something people don't realize and when they develop chapped lips, their reflex is to lick their lips and um, that's actually leads to worsening of the dry chapped lips. It's, it's called lip lickers dermatitis or an irritant dermatitis um, resulting from, from saliva basically. But anyways guys, I'm gonna conclude the vlog here. Tomorrow is the Friday Q&A, so it will be skincare focused and jam packed. Stay tuned. Um, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.